Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to Union Cross. Fourth anniversary. We're going to be doing the Hades Cup during this. I will be streaming tonight, though. If you guys want to come hang out, Final Fantasy VII Remastered for a 24-hour stream, or at least I'm going to try for 24 hours. I got two baby girls, Zelda and Penelope, so if they need my attention, I'm going to them. But I'm going to attempt a 24-hour stream nonetheless. So if you guys want to join me, link down below. For now, let's jump in and let's do some of this Hades Cup. I haven't touched this on either of my accounts, and I'm not going to make you guys watch like the first 10 rounds. So don't worry about that. I'm going to go straight to the last five and see how hard they are. Some people said they're stuck in the last one. Some people said they aren't. Uh, I am on my free-to-play account right now, I want to say. Is this my free-to-play account? I'm about to find out. But I'm going to go through at least the hardest one, harder, harder ones with you guys and try to come up with some strategies or just kick some ass, get those 5,000 jewels, and save for certain medals that will be coming out very soon. This is my main account, actually. And those certain medals have to do with that stream I'm doing tonight as well. So if you guys want to be part of that stream, link in the description. If you guys already get the idea, powerful medals are coming. Save those jewels. I feel so bad that I spent 9,000 jewels on that bait banner we just got. I knew I shouldn't have, and I still spent the 9,000 on it. I could have been at 44,000 right now, and I could have been at 50,000 after this, but I spent 9,000 jewels in this account. Yup. Yeah, I did that. Anyways, I'm going to jump to the hardy quest. I'll be back. All right, so I was going to record number 10, but number 10 be was pretty easy. So up to number 10, everyone should be getting that 1,000 jewels. Uh, if you just borrow someone's Elsa, you can probably just pop the Supernova and cast Elsa alone, and that'd probably get you that. So we got Marshall Monkey. Does he have anything interesting? The foe lowers your strength and power base strength. It also counterattacks when it hits zero. So he's got a counter in his head. That means we can manipulate the counter. How fitting. Yeah, four. So if you want to carry over your buffs, and you can do that, let me just make sure my Renovas don't screw that over. So I can do this buff here. If you really need help, you do some of this. You add to the counter, count plus two. You don't add to the counter. So I can go, even though Elsa's buff carry over already, I still want to show you like, you just carry your buffs over. So Elsa, uh, I don't know why you're on my setup. Actually, what is this setup? What is this setup even? All right, three, two. This will do two. <laughs> I'm not going to cast the other one. Is it going to die before that? Anyways, get the counter to zero and carry over your buffs. If you aren't as uh, powerful as this Keyblade setup, carry over your buffs on the monkey. I tried to. I tried to, but the monkey couldn't survive supernovas, even from a speed metal. Let me go see what this Keyblade setup is. I didn't even notice that this Keyblade setup had a Chain of Memory Sword on it. Number 12 is going to be what, though? Queen B. All right, Queen B. Power again. Wow, Elsa's are going to reign, reign supreme. Why is there a Sora on here? Explain that to me. Why is there a sword when I could have like a rage form sword copying something else? What about my magic setup? Uh, well, that's why my magic setup's not the greatest. That makes sense now. That does make sense. All right, this is my Keyblade. This is the setup I'm going to be going in with. Hopefully, this is good enough. Two Elsas, sword on the end there, rage form Sora copying into. I guess whatever. It doesn't matter, right? Because whatever I copy, I'm a magic metal. So technically. Actually, I'll just grab a magic metal. I'll grab Bethany's, like, recast Nova medal. So I'll have two Renovas, if it's necessary. All right, Queen B, what do you got? You got 30 blue counters, which is nice, especially if you have medals that don't ignore enemies' counters. Again, stacking buffs is very powerful. But with Elsa and Axel in the game right now, you carry over buffs on the second turn, so it doesn't really matter. And this quest says just, just don't die. You could probably even tank most of these if you have some of those tanking medals. Yeah, this is going to be pretty straightforward, isn't it? Nova... Into one cast that nearly killed it. All right, so from 10 and onwards, not too tough. But if you are someone who's newer to the game, use those counters. Get it to zero. Use as much buff as you can. Get it to zero. And then when he kills you and you come back to life, you carry over all those buffs. So if you racked up like 20,000 strength and that only lasts one turn, even though it's only one turn, when they kill you and you come back to life with HP recovery or second chance, you'll still have that 20,000. And then you do the whole thing over again. Now you have 40,000 on the last metal. Very good strategy. Uh, the beast lowers your strength, counters when it hits a uh, zero, and has allies that cast paralysis. All right, now you're getting a little interesting. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a big boy in the corner there. It's a lot of HP. Surprisingly, that's a lot of HP. Five million on both of them. Again, they're all power, so Elsa's might. You guys must be killing this. If they stop doing power, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky. But, like, just copy your Elsas, your second form Soras, just your friend Elsa, and just rip right through this. Lots of Lux, too, off this. So, freebies. So far, a bunch of freebies. I like it. Two more quests left. Let's see if there's a challenge here. 
two more quests left. And see if I can, like, make a really cheap setup to try to beat it, too. Maybe, like, borrow a friend, copy the friends, borrow money, uh, borrow money. Uh, borrowed metal. It's another power one. My god. Where's the heart? I guess this full cast both poison and paralysis. Uh, power and magic strength. It counters when attack hits zero. Where's the challenge? I like that there's no challenge, but at the same time, where's the challenge? Ooh, two counters, huh? Okay. I gotta go into this cast right away. This is the big boy that we can manipulate. We'll do one of these. Do one of these again. Get him down to three. Bring back... Oh, sorry. Bring him up to four. Now we'll bring him down to three. And now we'll start doing some little bit damage here. This doesn't add counters. It adds a bunch of strength. Get him to two. That adds counters. This doesn't add counters. Get him down to one. And this is what I mean. So you see my strength there? 17,500. I'm at 22,000 now. Now he's going to re react. Kill us. Estuna takes care of everything. And we still have 22,000. So now all our metals are just going to do a bunch of damage. Make sure I don't use another Nova and make that go to zero. From this point on, now we're at 27,000 by this cast. And then here, we're just going to do so much damage. And if you can stack all these, stack all these. But those aren't necessary. Just doing that is good enough. Boom. Dead Cerberus. Okay. So... No real challenge so far, which is good because I want the free jewels and lots of enemy counters on their head. And that's a curse and a blessing depend if you, depending if you have the right setup to manipulate those counters and add enough buffs to make it worthwhile. Because you can add buffs all the way to the end of the Keyblade right before you do your last attack. Activate Nova, tap on a couple of metals with the extra attack, and then you get to carry over. It's power again, huh? This foe not only poisons its enemies, it has an ability that both overrides strength and causes paralysis. It counterattacks when it hits zero. Okay. How, much, how many counters do you have on your head? Huh. 23, huh? 23. With only 8 million. I could literally auto battle this entire thing, but let's try to... Let's try to manipulate this. So... On this turn... Let's say I don't have the two, two uh, Renova medals. And I want to get that down as far as possible. So from here, I'm going to cast all these medals. I'm just going to cast all these medals. Get this guy up to a decent amount. Because my second form sword doesn't ignore counters. And he has a lot of hits. Okay, so we got to deal with five. If we up this six, Aqua does five hits. So Elsa, get that to six. Get that to seven. Rage form Sora, get that down to two. And now we wait here, and we activate a couple of these. So, Elsa buff, get it down to one. Activate second form, because second form gives me plus three to the counters. So, we're at 23,500. I know I can just go Renova. I'm going to pretend I don't have the Renova medals there. It's actually better to go on second turn, and then do this, because on second turn, Elsa buffs will carry over. And then if you had to do a third turn, you'll have even more buffs. So don't do this on the first turn. But his counterattack is going to paralyze us. So that's why it's kind of better on this turn. Uh, he's at what? What are you at? Four? Okay. Rage Form Sora, get that down to three. Elsa gets that down to two. And then do you add counters? Counter plus two. So if we do counter plus two, that's four. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm not going to use the Renova, and we're just going to try to be like this. And then I'm going to tap here because I already used the first initial attack, and then I can get a full front over here. Okay. Here's the big hit. We get paralyzed and all that other beautiful stuff, but we've got 37,000 strength carried over. Again, if this was turn three, that would be even more because of your Elsas, but on the first turn, it's totally fine. So counter should be fine. I'm not going to activate Renovas, and by this metal, he's dead. So there you go. That's how you manipulate counters. I didn't need to do that with the setup, but if you are struggling, try to try to really, really manipulate those counters. Get the best buffers you have for supernovas and carry them over. Even supernova buffs will carry over, so find your best supernova. Even if you're using a speed setup or a power setup, or if you did roll good traits on your Mickey. I think Mickey might actually do damage here. Let's take away Rage Form Sora and let's go like the new Mickey. I don't have attack boost, but yeah, new Mickey would do damage because it ignores enemies' attributes. 41,000 strength. 41,000 strength with a tier 10 good multiplier. He will hit that for super effective damage. So if you copy your Mickey, you can get away with that too. Yeah, let's go check out Mickey. Let's go give Mickey a little bit of love. Uh, I think I have some spare 
Attack boost on here? Are you a 7 star already? Yeah, you're a 7 star. Alright, so let's do skill, experience, and see what our best ones are. How many gauges does he have? He's got 2 gauges, so all he needs is a good old attack boost. That's it. Nothing else. Attack boost 12 max. Here you go, Mickey. Have attack boost 12 max. Let's jump into one of these. Let's bring in Elsa as a friend metal, and let's try your damage. So there's two things that Mickey can do here. Elsa can change him to a magic metal, so he'll benefit from all of the buffs, which is really good. But let's just want to, I just want to see how much Mickey does alone. So Sora does one turn upright metal strength. So I'm going to give Mickey that upright metal strength. I'm going to make sure my Elsa doesn't change him to a magic metal. But if Elsa does him to a magic metal, he keeps all these buffs. But for now, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to tap and tap. And here's Mickey alone with 8,000 strength plus 1,500 he's going to give. So 9,500. All right, let me slow it down just to see the damage. It's going to be a very slow cast. 12. So 12, was that 12 billion? Holy crap. Mickey, making busting in some moves there. All right, let's go Let's go do some magic buff with them. Now let's try to do that again, but this time we'll give them all the magic buffs. All the magic buffs. So we'll make sure we activate his metal for that metal strength. Get that upright metal strength there, doesn't really matter. I just don't want this guy dying before that. So I'm pretty sure my setup can one turn this. Second form Sora, and then change him to a magic metal. Change him in a magic metal, add more to that. All right, that's good enough. Let's add all these buffs now. Boom. Just hopefully these don't kill it. Ooh. I might not be able to cast more than this. Ooh. Magic metal strength. Okay. All right. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. Now let's slow down that speed. He was doing four point something. And now Mickey's a magic metal with all the magic buffs. Mickey is doing... 8 billion per hit. <laughs> Where Elsa does... How many hits does she have? 5. 5. Mickey is a powerhouse there, guys. Have fun with Mickey. Have fun with Mickey. That's your key there to beat this if you're having trouble. Free metal. Literally a free metal sitting there with tons of power. But that is the Hades Cup, guys. Good luck on your Hades Cup. If you can copy your Mickey... If you could change him to a magic metal with magic metal buffs or just go for a speed setup or another setup that does upright buffs, you guys are good to go. Even your nominee will increase his strength. So get your Mickey up there, attack boost 12 max, go have some fun with them. That's crazy amount of damage. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget tonight I will be streaming Final Fantasy VII Remastered. If you want to join me, link in the description. I stream over at twitch.tv slash Again, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll smell you later.